summertime. This is Mark from Taranto Hala. It's summer, it's hot, nice weather, and for a lot of us, we are having our days off from work, which is awesome. But a lot of new tarantula keepers, animal keepers in general, we are asking ourselves what to do with our animals. And why is this question is more important to dog owners, cat owners, hamster, rabbit keepers, rat keepers and etc. because they need food constantly, they need fresh water all the time. For tarantula keepers this is uh, not really that big of a deal. The answer to this question can be in short form and in long form. The short answer is they don't need much the long answer is, well, it kind of depends. It depends on how long your vacation will be and how long you are away from home. Well, if you're away from home for less than a week, then you could probably just tell them goodbye and they would just wave you back and everyone would be happy. But if you are away for more than a week, two weeks, three weeks, then you need a strategy. Last year I had the situation that I was away for three weeks. <laughs> I spent my time with my friends on two LARP conventions and it was absolutely amazing. But in the back of my head I had some thoughts that what to do with my animals because three weeks that's, that's quite some time. So in the middle, after one and a half week, I drove back to my home, I fed everything, watered everything and yeah, just went back to my vacation. But I had the luck that those two conventions weren't far away and I could drive back. It was around 80 kilometers or something like that. And not everybody has the luxury that they can drive away. So. Maybe you have a, yeah, a good friend or a family member that, that can take care of your animals while you are away. But this could be a bit troublesome if you are having this amount of animals, right? So maybe a friend who also keeps those animals, ask them politely and I hope they will help you. Because this can be a real pain in the you know what. Also what I like to do is to make a priority list on what is more important to give water and to feed. So on the top are definitely spiderlings, praying mantids, some more susceptible inverts, stuff like that. Stuff that is more delicate than the robust big tarantulas or snakes for example. The adult tarantulas can, yeah, without food and constant water, they can survive up to weeks, sometimes months. You, of course, it's better if you give them water and feed them, but still they, they, they are very hardy, so you don't need to overstress it. So with that said, next week's video will be postponed because I am off for my vacation and I couldn't prepare a video in advance. So I would like to wish you all have a nice time on your vacation and we will see you in two weeks with the next video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always Thank you for watching. Tarantohala out.